place to start. Oh fuck, I didn't I didn't send out the notifications. Holy shit. Two seconds. Oh, oh I'm dumb. There we are. Um. Oh, ow, bitch. Fuck. So, before I started this, I noticed something. My PC is operating at a uh, remarkably high CPU percentage than it is normally. I'm gonna ignore it for now. If it causes issues later... I will figure something out. I have done something recently so that my PC stops getting really hot when I play Final Fantasy. And that might be the cause of it. Uh, but without further ado, let's start this fucking game up, eh? Ooh. Ooh. Looking for a gameplay? Come on, find it. Find it. Don't tell me you can't find it. Any breakfast? Cornflakes. Game uses 3D positional audio. Game contains violent images and flashing lights. So hey, this is Lost in Vivo. Also known as one of my favorite games. Or correction, one of my favorite recent indie games. Got a bunch of options. So I've been through the storm that's approaching. I don't believe you. Uh, we are gonna turn this down. Cause this game gets real fucking loud. And this game does not take to alt tabbing well. Yeah, you do look like Virgil. I, I get I feel. Um other than that. So you might recall. I played the demo for this and said, turn my voice up, motherfucker. Oh, this is fun. This is, that's as high up as it goes. I have to turn the game manually down. How about that? That better? Or is this also okay? Wait, actually. Hold on. To my knowledge, this is as loud as the game can get. But... Either way. Let's just start a new game. So how are you feeling? Do you feel these sessions are still helping? You could try something a little more direct. We could start in vivo exposure therapy. So, I think this game is fascinating for multiple reasons, uh, mostly because of the different interpretations that this game brings, but we're not that far in. Right now, we're walking our dog. So already, this game, super different. But there's Danny. Poppy, yeah, you get it. We're just walking our dog. Not because of scamper right. Oh yeah. Yeah, I feel getting angry at this segment. Chesh Kitten is followed? Howdy. Hi. That brings us to two more people towards goal. We have a missing poster here for a Jane. Uh, I think it's like Exosprit? 
is her name. She'll be important later. Yeah, I know. Again, as you can tell, radically different. Fucking drastic. A, we have a service animal. B, I mean, there's gameplay here before we're even proper in the sewers, which I find fascinating. Because, I don't know if I went into this, the original plot of Lost in Vivo is that you were just a serial killer, uh, shocking illegal experiments, or a man gone insane. Secret government tests, Dr. B leaks the info. Oh, I'm sorry, Danny. So that'll be important too. Yeah, I like that she does stop and wait for you. She, she very good dog. She very good dog. I'm gonna turn my personal volume up. You guys aren't gonna hear anything, but I'll hear less of my own voice and more of the game. Oh, I didn't notice the weird speech here. Oh no! Oh no! Gotta go after our dog. So, there is a slim chance that the game freezes here. Sl slim, but wide enough of a margin. Alright, so immediately, we can look up to the sewers. This looks a lot more familiar, except, what's this? Bunch of graffiti. So these are almost all, these are almost all backers. But before I go too far in, press I. We got an inventory. Game manual. There's our controls. Uh, like how fast that cut is. Like you straight up see your dog fall into the sewer and you know instantly they need to look at her. Look for her. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Yep, there's your controls. Flashlight. An old military flashlight. I will always keep it with me just in case I get trapped somewhere can't bear to leave the house without it. Batteries are long lasting and had guaranteed to last all game written on the package. Dog's leash. Got it torn on the sewer grate. The key ring that holds all the keys I have. An old tape I found at home. If I find a tape mm, if I find a tape player, I could listen to it. The pound is written on it. That's what we got. That's what we came in here with. The reflections. The reflections in this just look amazing. Wait. Hungry demon? Oh, fuck. I know that face. That's a man. Hot cross. Dum bum 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 bum. To our left. I'm gonna assume the thing that's telling me to go down. Shockingly, it is not the way to go. Wait. Oh no, that's not the possum person I know. Or used to know. They don't talk to me anymore. <laughs> left. So, immediately, how you feel about claustrophobia? How you feel about sewers? How you feel about weird noises coming from the sewers? How you feel about the fact that you're standing and walking gray water? 
How about maintenance tunnels? So much good shit. So much good shit. Well, what are we to do? Except pick up a sledgehammer. Let's see, what do we got? I know there was a few, like, funny usernames at least. Like Julianne Stingray. Yeah, now we're armed. And we can swing it. And we have a block. But that's weird. What would you need to block against? You're in the sewers. Someone about to get a hammer to the face. And the protagonist is ready to swing it. Again, the original pitch of this game was like, oh yeah, no, you were just kind of a serial killer who killed the homeless in the sewers. I think this story is a lot more interesting. <whistles> Block is surprisingly not useful unless it's midnight mode. Yep. Found out, by the way, in the event that I do a, in the event that I do an extra part to show off all the uh, extra gameplay, I can just select Midnight Mode from the main menu now. It doesn't have to be any specific time anymore. Well, that's gross. Got pizza, moldy donuts, meat. <sighs> There's not much on the TV nowadays, so I thought I'd make my own show. Start putting food and rancid meat in the useless old box and all sorts of little critters would come and play. It was really relaxing to just sit on the sofa and watch them eat. But the small critters started attracting larger ones to the show. Some horrid, putrid thing kept coming to watch, so I just pretended to be asleep till it passed. But I think it knows I'm awake. I think it's watching me, not the show on TV. these. By the way, if I remember correctly, this is where you would get the sledgehammer in the demo. Bloody rags. My eyes are useless. All they can do now is sting and show me stuff that can't be real. If that rancid thing wants them, I say let it have them. Hey mama, what's this? Uh, one of the best survival horror games of the 2010s. Period. Oh, I didn't realize it had like a design in it. I thought that was just weird sludge. Well, oh shit. Well, that's weird. There used to be an eyeless hobo here. Oh shit. So, as you can see now, no kill prompt anymore. No eyes. So, sounds like an Akira Yamaoka type beat. So, a little bit of trivia. That is the lead singer of Portishead. Not the hobo. Despite resemblances. Either way, let's go. Wait, right, 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 right. I'm an idiot. That's open now. Hey, Danny. Aw, oh, shit! Uh, actually, if I remember correctly, is it this wall? Kirakuma making it. Lost in Vivo and listening to Porter said, Yeah, this rules. I'll have to incorporate into my own music. Look. That that was literally a Kiriyama Oka too. Like my favorite Portishead song. Or is it is it Portishead or Portishead? I actually don't know. Mm. 
but uh, my favorite song from them is Portis Head. So me saying Portis Head, okay. God. They're British, they're uncultured, it doesn't matter. They make good music though. Made? I actually don't know if they still do. Game forced my flashlight off there. Which is, to my knowledge, the only time that happens. Sharon. That used to be, if I remember correctly, a graffiti right about here. There also used to be a long graffiti here. Played PT last night and it really, it really gave myself to it. Lost, got lost in the madness. Never been more disturbed by a video game. Who boy. I thought that with PT. This game changed my mind. All abandoned hope. Ye who enter here. This track sounds familiar. This was a joke from the bit. Oh. <laughs> okay. I forgot about that bit in Lost in Vivo Bridged where Saris just goes, Look at me, I'm Cockney, I'm uncultured. Oh, that was great. That series is finished now, by the way. Is this the game where the dog keeps fucking off? Yeah. Oh no! Roxy just said Lost in Vivo Bridged. That would just be me speedrunning it and you know it. So, nothing here? Bunch of candles. But I meant to say, Helsing Abridged. That is officially, however, finished. And ended well, and really horny. But it is Helsing. So you know what? Pretty sure that guy did a fucking porn manga. Okay. Yeah, I remember the fast hallway in PT. I remember all of the turns. They're all really good. Well, we're just gonna elect to ignore that. Also, wait, if I remember correctly, yeah, I like these guys. They're just neat. Yeah, so a bit of a warning with this game, just, is that me whistling? Yeah. That's the space bar. That's, uh, in the moments where I, in the moments where my dog can hear me, if I whistle, it will bark. I will also misclick whistle, and it'll probably scare someone. So yeah. Also, if you remember the demo, uh, I know I'm making a lot of callbacks to it, but technically that was part zero. There was a fight here in the demo with one of the Crispies. Not only do those not seem to exist in this game anymore, as anything but statues in a later part of the game. In fact, I'm almost certain it only exists in a bonus mode. Kota Hirano did a lot of hentai. That's what I was thinking. Oh, this. So this is the quote, quote, ritual to get a handgun, if I remember correctly. What? Damaged handgun picked up. I, I don't know where it was, but. But now we have a gun. And I pull out my gun. He, 
Uh, notice that right in the hallway, the music changes depending on the direction you were looking. If you stare at the wall and stay still, the music almost calms. Oh no, that's actually just, uh, locational audio. So, if I just cap her, there is an ending. I won't do it. So if you know anything about in vivo exposure therapy, there are moments in it of generalized, of generalized, uh, what ending am I aiming for? I don't know. I will play normally. I will probably not do every ending. Have I established wrist control? Hmm. Video games are in vivo exposure therapy for me sometimes, like this game. Exactly. Also, parallel to the sewer grate. Huh. Weird. Also, this pistol is notably super old. Like, it kind of looks like a Mauser, kind of not. Definitely not a modern pistol at all. Bill stickers. Uh, so the only reason I didn't go for that ending right there was actually just so, uh, so I wouldn't have to redo everything. Because that is not an ending like a Yokotaro game. That is an ending. Like... I will have to replay the whole sewer. So welcome to the first, technically second, major area of the game. Also, so glad I played Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion before this. I might have to do it again if I get enough donations to pay for uh, Spooky's HD, by the way. Wink wink, nudge nudge, I would totally play those expansions. Locked. Joseph Stein, Ian Watt. Oh fuck. Virgil, you fuck. Mentioned the in vivo call movements, save thing, by the way, but I didn't finish the thought. Oh, within in vivo exposure therapy, there are moments of guaranteed calm. Fuck that guy. I will. I will bring my rivalry to the LPs. Well, rivalry, quote unquote. Dude doesn't know I exist, but like, keeps quote quote leaking Silent Hill shit. I'm so irritated. Also, I just I just want to make a quick note of all of the weight loss ads and the infestation art. Is this game expensive? It depends on if you consider eleven dollars expensive. I personally don't, but understand if other people do. Compensation? Yes. Also, if you ever, like, if you ever buy a game because I played it, it can't hurt to let people know that I sent you. Gets my name out there. That'd be cool. Could be worse. Yeah, well, it's like for the length of a game this is, I think it's legitimately fairly priced. It'll take you a whole night. I am actually doing shorts, um, short sequences of it so that I don't just, I can't see inside. Who is conducting the train? Uh, but doing short streams of this so that A, I don't just blaze through it in a six hour stream. Oh, there we are. 2-14-07. I don't want to go. I just want to stay on this train. I want to stay in the dark where no one can see me. Pistol's definitely a Ruger Mark III, but fitted and standardized for a 22 LR. Things are often 
often have a built-in suppressor. Well, that was a noise. Is there anything back there? Can we see anything? No. People take, pay 10 bucks to see a movie that lasts two hours or so. Yeah, that's fair. I just also understand that people, that people have apprehensions to paying like $20 for a game they can do in a week, or not a weekend, but like, uh, who would I let know that you sent me? Oh, like if there's a, uh, I don't know if there's like a dev who actively talks to people, shit like that. And they're like, especially if they explicitly go, hey, how'd you find this game? Or how'd you find out about my shit? Can't hurt. C can't hurt. I'm not saying it'll get me a key in the future, but I am saying, hey, maybe I'll talk to another cool indie dev. Fucking, I talk to the person that did Paratopic on Twitter every once in a while. She's really nice and cool. 2.14.07. I want to make a decision. I want to control, I want control back in my life. I want to matter. Everybody just makes choices for me. Maybe I'll find some place where I can be happy. Someplace dark without people to remind me of how ugly I am. I'm sorry. So let's save. So keep this door design in mind. And keep the light in mind. That's always your safe room. Yeah. Guaranteed calm. Just moments of it. Every industry functions off of relationships and who you know makes sense. Even if the opportunity if the opportunity presents itself, I'll make sure I mention. Yeah, yeah. This game had a monster called Daddy Roach? I don't remember that. Now, there are some shit asses in this industry, like the uh I can't remember what role he is, but he has, like, a high role in Stadia, of all things. He would probably not like you to know if I played Assassin's Creed 4, Journey to the Savage Planet, Assassin's Creed 3. He thinks that we are essentially leeches for streaming a game, of all things. Oh, fuck. So... This is the only tape that is for sure considered canon, to my knowledge. And it is, to the best of my interpretation, supposed to be, well, how did you get to get your dog? And this is definitely how the protagonist felt getting Danny. I need bolt cutters. I think it's this way? Bolt cutters picked up. I really like the rapidly warping textures. It reminds me a lot of the PS1. Game is extremely trippy. Oh, absolutely. And now we have our dog. Exit with dog. The safety object. So that's the only one of the lost tapes that is for sure absolutely canon. Oh, that click feels nice. Let me hear it again. Yeah! One more time, just for good time's sake. Ooh. Locked. Well, shit. All right, that whole hallway. Remember that this game plays through first person perspective of someone severely disabled. Yep, 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 yep. Anxiety, like, as you mentioned, agoraphobia. Uh, probably minor psychosis of some variety. It's an old game called Midnight. 
We'll get to this. Can you define agoraphobia? The fear of large open spaces, oftentimes full of people. They also have claustrophobia. Imagine the dream. Oh, we should probably pick this up, huh? Mm. Let's pick up the thing. Match your key picked up. This whole station is just broken. Lines are run backwards, access panels are hard to get to, and sometimes the power just cuts. Since this is considered a bad part of town, funding for this station was minimal and most of the construction was done by local residents. To top it off, the last maintenance guy messed up everything. He told me when he left to, kept, to keep every light on and to either redirect or send off any trains that arrived. I've made several attempts to fix the electrical problems, but it's so bad I don't think I'm getting anywhere. So I'm leaving. This job just isn't worth the hassle anymore. If the power goes out on the tracks, you have to reboot the whole system. In order to do that, go to each station and turn off the breaker boxes. Then come back here and restart the system. I've barely been able to keep the power on, so that's all the advice I can give besides quitting. I know that's not exactly how it's phrased, but hey. Flick. Flick. Oh, that's satisfying. A lot of this game is really satisfying. It's very amazing that we live in an age where you can literally step behind the veil of another person through video games. Yeah, for sure. I mean, fucking books have been doing it for God knows how long, but like, even then, the writer kind of determines the pace on how a book goes. And debatably, aside from like choose your own adventure novels and the like, video games are the only actual like. Video games are really the only thing where actually interacting with the art form comes natural. Aside from like, I know there are forms of theater that have audience interaction, but it's not the same. Scanning the area before we do anything. Got a pick lock set. I refuse to call it that for the rest of the lip for the rest of the playthrough. V versus self. What could she have meant by this? Let's actually see, we've got a couple items. Also, the key ring is actually getting more filled out as we get more keys. Wet sledgehammer, found it in the sewers. Looks old, but it's holding up well. Damaged handgun, wonder what it was doing down here. Two sets of lock picks with a pick and a tuner. They look very brittle. Oh, no, 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 no. I ain't saying that, like, you're saying, oh, video games are the only way to do it. I'm just saying, I am personally saying there have been other mediums, but I think video games do it the best. I, I believe we fundamentally agree. So, I'm gonna do this thing way before the objective because I feel like I'm gonna be really irritated if I don't. The inventory is really weird. It's uh it's just Silent Hill 1's main menu. Like, not dead ass. This is just a weird mix of Silent Hill 1 and Resident Evil 1. Actually, debatably, probably more Resident Evil 2 with that shade of blue. But yeah. 
Trust me. This is literally just to save brain power. God, this Silent Hill ass music. I love it. Now fucking run. Oh, God. Even if I know everything in this game, like, even if I know every scare, every possible thing that could get me, this game puts me on fucking edge really bad. <laughs> Fucking go, go, go. What's behind you? Not looking. Not looking. As I said. Don't worry about it. What I can't see can't hurt me. I wanted to see. Trust me. You'll get to. Just not yet. It won't bite. Oh, oh boy. I've recovered from it, but it can totally bite. So let's just walk here slowly. I've gotten caught on things in here. So, like Silent Hill 3, pick up a shotgun. And it sounds really nice and feels good to reload. However, something that I've seen is a point of... I guess, criticism to this game? The shotgun only fires rock salt, so it wouldn't do too much damage. However, people think Oh, it's a shotgun. It must do a shitload of damage. Oh, shit. Hey, Thea. What's fucking good? It's been most of a year. Don't worry. You haven't missed much dank and rompa. I don't have access to 2, 3, and UDG. Lost tape number 2. Oh, that's what I meant to say. Um, so, sorry if I am constantly, like, whipping the camera around like that and it fucks with you. That is, so something you don't see when I LP a Silent Hill game, for instance, is, uh, you don't see me constantly darting around the room with my eyes for items. In Lost in Vivo... I actually have to constantly look around to find the items on the ground. And it's, uh, it's different. Shotgun ammo picked up. Oh, Ruger ammo picked up. It's all good, life's been hectic. Yeah, fair enough. Shit's rough for everyone. Well, shit's been rough for the responsible. Yeah, I think that's what I wanted to say. There we are. Lockpicks that picked up. The fuck was that? A lot of books on subway utilities and a few books about locksmithing. I feel like things have gotten darker.
Wait, no, this is just a supply closet. Or, supply room. Damn dog howling in my neighborhood. It's creeping me out because this game is about a dog. Yeah. Typing will be rare for me because I'm watching through PS4. It's all good. It is. We are in a state where I don't think, if I remember correctly, I don't think I have to force people to talk. I used to have to force interaction. Now it just happens organically. But let me let me get me some sip here. Do my best to interact. That's good. I feel like my super early streams were really, really inorganic. So that's what was following me. Get it? Okay. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get. It's because you're going really easy going, and it's hard not to comment on your streams. That's fair. But no, that's that's what I'm getting at. I just Shh. communication happens organically nowadays. I used to have to, like, invite people that I knew would talk in chat because I I secretly had the ulterior motive of getting my numbers to go up. And now it just happens. It's great. Because I feel like... I feel like uh, garbage a little bit trying to force people to be like, Oh, hey, no, why, uh, why don't you follow? Why don't you... Why don't you talk in chat? Uh, hey, hey, handsome stranger. Wouldn't, wouldn't you love to follow? And it's like, I don't gotta do that anymore. Except maybe getting people to follow. I might still have to do that. What happened here? I'll be drawing my prompt for today, so that's awesome. Hell yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm not happy. I'm so ugly. And everyone treats me like I'm not even real. They're so pretty and perfect and they all have friends, but I'm just here. Guess I'm gonna unfollow. I will eat you. I will, like, hunt you down and, and at least talk about it. Can only make jokes like that to people you know. Don't be weird to me in public. Me, the handsome stranger who watched you for almost a month without realizing I was never following you. In all fairness, do I have a reflection? No, because technically that area doesn't have reflections built in. But I digress. No, you were a cockroach in one one-off moment. And we will see it eventually. It's my favorite of the tapes. Must be a vampire. Must be a vampire. believe that it can. It was a slow day when it happened. Only two trains even stopped here, and I didn't see her until it was too late. Heard her sobbing as she walked down the tracks. Wanted to run and save her, but I could hear the train. Just waited and listened. She must have regretted it at the last moment, because I, I heard her scream. Can't stop her. She passes through the walls. All I can do is wait and listen. Flick. Let's get the fuck out of here. 
Uh, if I remember correctly, that was supposed to be one of the first we were supposed to read. And I'm doing this all the fuck out of order. Excuse me, Jane! You're making your own dress? Hell yeah. Let me see that shit when it gets done. Fucking send it to me. You know where to reach me. Me sounding more aggressive because I have to be louder than this part of the game? Yep. Oh, I wish. Damn it. That. I was gonna show the food with gross words on it, like gross, disgusted, and bloated. Now let's fucking split. I'm just saying, there's some weird ass imagery. <laughs> Fuck was that? Oh, fuck, winging it with no pattern fucking sucks. Fuck, granted, I had to wing it when I did my Nepeta hat, and that ended up real nice. But that was more because I vaguely knew what a hat looked like. I'm still proud of it, because it looks homemade, but like, in the way of it looks like the character who lives in a cave made it. I wonder what the symmetry has to do. I wonder whose body issues these are. Yep, gotta wonder. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Because this was... Okay, that was all the way to the outside. Or... Okay. So the game only shows where you are based on, like, a red blip on the map. And nothing else. So I legit had nothing to go off of. Oh, this noise is fun. Let's just give ourselves a little save save for you dumb motherfucker, it's pizza straight out of the oven. That shit's magma. That's a noise I don't like hearing. Let's go already. Oh! Don't like that. Don't like that. Oh. Oh, shoes. Shoes, huh? Person who made this has a Japanese word in their name. I wonder if that means anything to them. Oh, weird, weird rat train. Hell yeah. Rat train. He makes me feel so much better sometimes, but I worry that I'm not good enough. Oh, 11.22.06. He makes me feel so much better sometimes, but I worry that I'm not good enough. He wants me to lose weight, and I'm really trying. It's just so difficult. I look in the mirror and nothing special. So this is a year before the notes we were reading over there. She used to be happier. Thinking about this one when we were the kids, you're like, this is my least favorite part when pulling out the pizza. Ooh, ooh, mood, mood. Cool-ass green train. Oh, I like how that looks. 
Ooh. What was that? Oh. Hi, Yuffie. Hi. Mention wood firing a homemade pizza and having to wait like five minutes for it to cool. That sounds heavenly. Are you kidding me? Something is blocking the way back. Well, we have no other option. Hi, Yuffie. Static as a physical object is horrifying. Yeah, actually a personal fear. This doesn't look like any train station I've ever been to. Oh yeah, no, I'll mention it any point I get. Royal Phantom Construction, Grand Baleem Avenue. Huh, I wonder why there is decay and weight loss and donuts. I wonder what it mean. I wonder what it mean. Also, PT. I was the only bleed the once. What happens if I do the spit without saving? Oh, nothing. Game can be beaten without saving. Broken. Cast your bets for what this does. The result might freak you out. We can't solve this yet. And the door will remain locked. We will get to be able to solve this eventually. But I wanna show that off as a thing that exists. It won't open and it's covered in some kind of slime. Or it won't open because I actually don't know what that's trying to tell me. So someone would have to watch that. That's chemical. This door feels hot. Don't like that. Let's pick up the chemical. The chemical that sloshes in your hands. Vampire is going to be the stream's running theme. Oh, I wish. Oh, there's only one thing I can do? Okay. Well, let's disintegrate the uh, weird slime on the door here, yeah? Oh, shit! Oh, no. I'm not doing that twitching. You are violently, slowly dying from acid here. Game over. <sighs> Wait. What do you mean? What do you mean? Wait. Hold on, what? Hold on. Excuse me? Wait, no, but that was supposed to happen. Wait, what? Can you even hurt me in this state? Huh. C oh, cause she's crying and going over there. It relies on the assumption that I saved the game. But I did. Over there. Hold on, what? I'm... Huh? 
Huh? I don't like that. Oh, that's dumb. If you go back, will it work as intended? That's actually a good question. That's, that's actually an excellent question. I, I'm not even mad. I'm just confused. Because that's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to slip and die. I, In all fairness, I did kind of forget. That's so weird. That's so weird. I thought that worked on like a checkpoint system. Liam Afnew. Well, let's save the game now. Also, that looks familiar. I think we saw that on the train. Oh, we... Okay. So it does work as intended. Oh, that's weird. It's just also working under the assumption. Hmm. Gross. Disgusting. I'm so ugly. So ugly. I'm so disgusting. This is so weird. So disgusting. No one wants me. No one wants me. Gross. Door still feels hot, though. Oh, that's weird. Not even, like... Fine. You'd think a mirror would be l less durable. Oh, I'm kinda irritated at that. So what gets me about the pile of meat is that it's supposed to be you. And you're saying it about yourself. I always saw it as you are Jane in that instant. Or you were at least going through what Jane went through. Jane, the woman on the missing poster, who, who seems to have killed herself in a, quote, bad part of town. Therefore, you know, a place where trains usually get redirected from, so no one would really notice. Page one. Life was too harsh. Love was lost forevermore. They hung from a ceiling fan, staring at the floor. Oh shit. So. Oh, eat shit, eat shit, eat shit. Fine. 
So, when my, when my girlfriend played this, she went something along the lines of, that train isn't gonna come alive and eat me, is it? And I asked her, I asked her, and she can verify this, she is in chat right now. Would you like the real answer to that? We're good on health. But yeah, she's there, and she can verify. I absolutely ask something along the lines of, please remember that I started to actively break the train's eye. I, oh, I, I'm actually considering recreating it. Because I want to get it on camera. I don't know if this game gets actively updated, but I at least like it in a clippable moment so that it can be potentially sent to, like, a bug report thing. Shotgun ammo picked up. Imagine actively fighting a train. Yeah, with a sledgehammer. Hell yeah. But yeah, no. Those were her... That was a question she asked. <laughs> and I, in the moment, did not expect her. The I... AI either works when you do... Yeah. Oh yeah, also keep in mind that this game is like semi-fresh in my mind because I did like multiple sessions of it with my girlfriend. Uh, it was locked. Forget it. Who would ever think of something so disgusting? Old kitchen knife picked up. Look at them fast swipes. Also, look at how you take one step forward. Every swipe. This motherfucker is stanced up. I don't know if it's a coincidence that the female sign is redder. But I'm gonna make note of it. 11607. I don't know what to write. I'm not sure if it's good or bad. I don't know if it makes me happy or sad. I think we're going to have a child. Uh, Lost in Vivo protagonist makes me feel like a trained fighter, or at least a survivalist. I feel that. Page two. Life was too harsh, and a bridge was close by. They sank in the water, gaping at the sky. So looking down, and looking up. Just keep it in your back pocket. Down, and up. Broken. Let's see. Oh shit. You know what? The melee in this game is kind of bad. So I feel like that's what's supposed to happen when you do that. Verify it. But hey. Yeah, I think you just fucked it up when you played. Cause like, you're back. Hi, back. Also, we went through there to find a note. <clears throat> we went through there to find a note that mentioned pregnancy. 
I doubt it's intentional. But it also feels weirdly deliberate. PT. Oh, bleeds. Again. Yeah, I hope your roommate's okay. Wait, what? Oh, right, this one. There we are. Shit. Some more claustrophobia. Oh fuck, Danny to my left. the ready. Lockpick set. Brew grandma. Want me to explain the method behind the head puzzle? You're supposed to interpret uh, nursery rhymes that you found out that you found throughout the area that involved uh, the way people were looking due to their method of suicide. So at the end of the hanging poem he's looking down at the end of the jumping off a bridge poem, he's looking up. And I... I actually think you have to brute force the last head. I think. Uh, wiki diving to the wiki I contribute to is, uh... is completely and utterly permitted if I, uh, if you are ever confused on the- Okay, I never noticed how fucking weird that looks. Okay, that's supposed to be weird for sure. But I'm gonna go the other way. Okay, it's just a grate. There is a chance that I might swap to using a controller next, uh, next session. There was a note in the page for the puzzle headroom. Well, shit. I missed it. So, hey, if you like this game and want to know what I missed... You can just look at, look for it in your own session. Hey, good advertising, me missing content like that. Fucking great at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, does that imply that they, like, decapitated themselves with the assembly line? Because if so, as someone who was working in a, in a gig where I had to pick the line for packages, um, it is really hard to, like, take a limb off with those things. Degloving is easy, but, like, taking a limb? Holy shit, that's hardcore. more rats. Now, if I remember correctly, I want this gun. Jesus, little fucker. Slug fuck. Oh, look at the, look at the shotgun shells that actually, like, display on the ground. Oh, I love it when games do that.
Uh, could be referring to old factories that were insanely dangerous. I'd buy that. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We actually need to, like, take a second to regenerate health. Because, uh, who boy. Next combat encounter will absolutely kill me. So, I have a head cannon for regenerating health that, because the real reason that there's regenerating health is probably just gameplay convenience of the level designer to be like, all right, they'll just recover as they explore and start most of the combat fresh. However, there is a lot that this game has to do with therapy and trauma. And I see a mechanic that actively says, hey, take a breather, as possibly, note, note this wiki, possibly intentional. I don't know, could be a deliberate choice. I could also be fucking nuts. Both equally likely. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, you know what? There is shit growing out of the f growing out of the ceilings. I am a fool to assume to assume that the walls are not also dangerous game in this state wouldn't be fun without regenerating health. I disagree. I think if there were a couple health pickups that the game could benefit, but like, I think the right move was regenerating health for this level design. Pick, pick broken. Lovely. What? Now you're just fucking with me. There are some things that aren't quite as fresh in my mind. Like that. I kind of forgot about that. Also, Saver Might is blinking red this time. I wonder why this is. Save erased. Well, them's the breaks. 20807. All he talks is about how ugly I've become. How ugly I'm going to be. Give me a second. He tells me he's leaving. I feel so sick. He hates me now. All I have is this responsibility. All because of this parasite inside me. I didn't think it would happen. I just did what I was told. I wanted him to be happy with me. I feel bad for Jane. Oh no. Oh god. Oh fuck. It's juke past this mother- Oh no. There's nowhere to juke. What could possibly have to happen? Broken? Oh god. Why do you look like a baby? Uh, oh no. My attacks aren't even connecting. What could this possibly mean? Oh no. Babe, did I save? Yeah, I did. Save got deleted. It happens. So how are you feeling? I feel like everyone hates me and I hate myself. Your sense of self-worth is too influenced by body shape and weight. You don't judge others so harshly. You have worth, you have beauty, but you are unable to see it. Your vision of yourself is distorted. Then how should I fix it? If I can't fix my body, then how do I fix my vision on myself? We are working together to fix it. But I will also 
write you a refill on your fluoxetine. Yeah, don't worry. Save is deleted, but such things happen. Well, this is new. But now, welcome to possibly where this game clicked to me. The area I call, and I think the, I think the developer calls, the bulimia puzzle. You will see why in a moment. Yeah, as you can see, this game uses mostly false uh, reflections, but that's okay. I think the way it does some, the way it does things is actually interesting. Yay, a positive room. With a green light. A green light. Huh. Actually, wait. Let's stay well armed for this area. Rue Grammo. So, doing this part of the puzzle means that the game will respond well. A real depressed woman or whatever this distorted vision is. Huh. Also, I like the calming music used here. Oh, I love this puzzle too, for sure. And it only gets better as the puzzle goes on. This is the puzzle. Covered in broken, bloody vending machines with, that's a head. Those are, those are limbs. Oh, I never noticed that before. Oh, that rules. So now we have to eat. But hold on. There are bars here. My FOV is kind of fucking up and and being weird. There are also roaches. Can I? No. So? Cute. You know what? Teeth. Black Market really streamlined the organ buying process. You right. I didn't notice the teeth. I was gonna say, I have a feeling we didn't do what we were supposed to. Whoop. So, we could fuck around and keep getting it wrong. However, we could also just eat and keep going. You could always do it. It was never a real cage. It was never a real barrier. Just keep that in mind. Rugramo picked up. So I actually think this game is beautiful for this puzzle and this puzzle alone. Wait, 
we're back here. Things look normal, actually. Things look normal, but we still see the cage. But what if we just ignore the cage? What if you just ignore it and keep going? regular snacks in. The lights are back on. The mirror isn't broken anymore. We can't see ourselves, obviously, but that's just because of the game. There are no roaches anymore. We could just eat. Now, the cage is still there, but that's really the only thing out of the ordinary. So now that we've addressed the bulimia, what about the baby? I'm gonna take it. You can also super stab it. What? What? Oh. Oh shit, we're gonna get run the fuck up. Who was that? We know. We know who it was. It was Jane. We were going through her shit. Examine. It's a torn piece of my dog's leash. Wait, let me make sure. So, that puzzle back there is when the game for real kicked with me. Yeah, this track is gorgeous. This upcoming area, like this upcoming room, if I remember correctly, is where it clicked for my girlfriend. But this game was more than just a weird, kinda, like, freaky survival horror game, and where it became something special. We'll just have to wait for the next real room. Here's what we're looking for. October 24th, 2020. I waited in the dark for so long. I lashed out against anyone who got close. But someone kept pushing me into the light. It hurt for a while. It doesn't hurt anymore. In death, we have allowed Jane to not get over her trauma, not get over her mental illness, but to cope with it, to get through it. This is the real special shit with Lost in Vivo. I fucking love this game. Also, Clicked hard, and it makes me wonder why Jane is so crucial to the story. Yeah. Exactly. Huh. I wonder what that's supposed to be. And now to the next zone. Yeah, it 
I fucking love this game. Oh, good. So I'm not gonna read that. Not yet. But let's play the tape. Let's play the tape so that we have a little bit of content. I still really like this bit. Or this just graphic, generally. Loading. So these tapes, from here on out, seem to be weird, non-canon horror bits. But they're freaky all the same. I am not sick. See, I say even debatably, if I remember correctly, this one could totally be considered canon. But we have no official word from Akuma Kira. So, we can't really say anything concretely. Why am I here? Let me out. Let me out. Fuck was that? Was that what I think it was? Wait. Why am I here? Okay. I am not sick. Hold on. No, was that what I think it was? This will mean nothing to you guys, but I think that was the- or this will mean nothing to anyone but- except one of you. I think that was the siren. That like popped up for a split second. wrong with them. Siren had- no. Uh, I feel like even if it's not can, there's some kind of importance to the main character. Yeah. But no, not- not Siren Head. I said the Siren. Christ's sake. People need to appreciate Long Horse as Trevor Henderson's best character. I know you know, but hey, the pure mention of Siren Head gives me an excuse to bitch that people don't like Long Horse as much. So of every game I have ever played, to me this most reminds me of Sonic Dreams Collection. If you know what that is, you know why I'm saying it. So again, I'm not gonna read this, because I have this to go to. So, 
so. With that, that's about as much time as I want to put into Lost in Vivo right now. Uh, cause this game's really short, and I think if I take it zone by zone, I can justify having multiple LP bits of it. This also makes it more palatable for VOD viewers, but like, shh, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end it off there. If you stayed this long, thank you. To my regulars, yeah, I'm sorry. I, kn I know it's a shorter one, but now that you've heard me explain why they're shorter, I'll, uh, I, I hope it makes sense, essentially. <laughs> um, other than that, wherever you're watching this, which is either the Twitch live stream or the Twitch VOD or the YouTube archive... There will be links below that area, like the community discord and the donation link. Either of those, I would love if you check those out. There's also a shitload more to look at. Uh, to the live viewers, I'm gonna try to do this tomorrow. No promises. I might get suddenly tired, like I did last night. Uh, either way, thank you for coming. Have a good rest of your night. Thank you.